Welcome to another quick episode from Ultimate DIY. And today we're going to actually level this concrete around the steps by using leveler. So welcome to another quick episode from Ultima DIY where you learn to be your own handyman. And today myself and Leo are gonna work on this concrete that goes around the stairs. It's out of level. We're fixing to put a laminate type flooring down and Leo is using a self leveler to put on here to make sure that there's no humps. Plus he's gonna be grinding the concrete down with a grinder. Well, he will also go around the steps with a special saw and cut it back so that that flooring can slide up underneath it. So we're gonna go through the complete process of putting this down, including mixing it and pouring it. And then I'll show you how he uses an actual finishing trowel and his long screeds to get everything nice and level so that that floor sits nice and never has a problem going forward. When you step down off of these steps and you put your foot on that floor, if it is not totally level, it's gonna make a lot of noise and creaking and moving. We don't want that. That's where you're gonna get most of your heavy traffic walking down from those steps. We're also going inside of the doorway going into the master bedroom area to make sure that that is totally level as well. So let's get outside and we will see him mix everything up and then we'll come back in here and I'll actually show you how he poured this. So let's do it. All right guys, so what you're looking for is you want this to be all the way flush. And as you can see, you can see light underneath it. So it needs to be flush all the way across. So what we're going to do is this entire area is going to end up with some self-leveling compound put down. They're gonna put it down and then they're gonna come back and they basically use the same type tool and kind of scrape the top. If you have any high spots, they will actually use a grinder with a concrete grinder and they use a back system to blow it out the back door so it doesn't fill the whole house with the concrete dust, but they will grind down any high spots. So let's go ahead and see a little bitty screw. So let's see how that actually turns out. They're fixing to start that first. Okay, guys, I also wanted to mention, if you notice my hat's changed, I normally have a DeWalt hat on, but I'm getting a lot of comments and people asking if they can send me a hat because they know I like to wear them. This particular hat came from John McAfee, and let me show you here. He runs the Textana Dumpster Company, and I have to give him a big thumbs up. They did an excellent job for us. We rented a dumpster from him on a previous project and he actually hand delivered the hat to me so if you are in the dfw texas area and you're needing a good dumpster company you're not going to go wrong with this guy i definitely give him a shout out and if you guys would like me to wear one of your hats for your company and give you a shout out to your business be sure you send me those hats dm me let me know and i will send you an address that you can send it to and i will be sure and wear those in one of my upcoming videos for you I was going to show this real quick. So the tool that they actually use is a Metabo, fairly heavy duty tool, and it's going to have a concrete grinding disc on the bottom. They're going to run this back to it right here. It goes all the way out and they have it going out there. So it will collect most of the dust and blow it outside.
Ah, meu Deus. Okay guys, so we're gonna mix up the self-leveling and if you notice he does it the same way I do. He has a bucket of water to clean his tool off after he gets done. Let's go ahead and watch how he puts it together. The water, uh, this is a fast dry uh, mix. Normally for a good uh, mix, we put water like this, like. Oh, that much water to the end of the tool. Yeah, gotcha. and, and you mix for one or two minutes. So a two minute mix, guys. Mix. Okay. And his helper is going to pour the bag in. So he's like, just like I do, he already has some water in there. So it doesn't clot up. And we're gonna go ahead and move in a little so that we can see that. Okay. Yeah, this is like this is really good concrete, like okay. fast dry. Excellent. Yeah, it's my pretty good. Yeah. Very when cool. it's dry, it's pretty solid. It's not easy to rock in the concrete. Or I use for years, and it works really, really good. So it looks like the mix is pretty watery. Yeah, but it's dry so fast, and when it's dry, it's solid, really solid. Wow. Mix from really good mix is. One or two minutes. Okay. And you see where he put the tool, guys, just like we do. So you can see how watery this is, guys, as he pours it out. And he's going to probably use his level as a screed to try to pull it over it to get it right where it needs to be. And also that screed keeps it off the wall. And as he's pouring it, he can tell if it's sticking. So he'll pour a little bit more. that area yeah and that was a whole bag right there correct yeah it's a play like from the sticks you guys see this in the level they they try to like spray it like feel it like i feel it when you step off of the steps yeah. more of this part because this is the place where we're walking they push it right it's lovely it's total solid the floor and we don't have any issues sounds great all right, so they're gonna mix up a whole nother one. And you can see this is already kind of self-leveling itself out. See a little bit of a spot over here that's gonna be covered with trim, but it should level out over that. And this stuff sets up pretty quick. It is already, I can see it setting up and the bubbles coming out of it that quickly. So you mix it, you have to get this stuff down on the floor extremely quick. Now they are going to actually use the same screed when it dries 
and they'll kind of scrape the top. You'll see how that's done. It'll come out in like a powdery form and it'll make it nice and level. And like what he was trying to explain, I don't know if his mic was actually working on this camera setup, but he was explaining that as you walk down the steps and you put your foot down in any of this area right through here, if it is not extremely level, you're gonna feel and hear a lot of crackling noises and movement. So you want that really nice there. Notice guys, he's using it as a pivot right here now. And he's going into the doorway of the other room to make sure that that's all smooth. So we're, you were talking about the tilt, now say that again. Uh-huh, a little bit of an angle, okay. Makes it move, okay, so don't go flat like a regular screed, you're gonna actually angle it slightly. Yeah, so there you go it is actually down going into the doorway over here so it's nice and level going through that entryway all the way up to the walls and it is self leveling itself out right now and starting to dry you can see where it's starting to turn gray through here meaning that it's setting up this side is starting to when you see things like this little ripple you don't have to worry a whole lot about that because they are going to go back 
with the same screeds after they go clean them off and this sets up and they're going to start scraping across here and make sure that it is totally smooth so the floor doesn't have a problem. So it's using a regular concrete trowel and trying to level out around the steps and make sure that it's at the actual same level. Yes, no. Straight the walls for the stairs and it's like see what place they have with more concrete. A little more and it's directly more. Finish a little bit. Now we would maybe it's like this thing a little more concrete. So basically we had a hump right in this area. Everything else all the way around is, is leveled out pretty well. So he's trying to taper to the right and left of that hump and get it to where it actually is level straight across. He'll use a straight edge like he's doing now just to check and make sure that he does not have visible light underneath it. If he does, then he tries to build that area up just like he's doing right now. Yeah, I noted that little hump earlier. I knew you were gonna straighten that one out. So a couple of things to note is you will notice he uses the back end of the trowel as he's scraping and trying to get it nice and straight and clean, getting rid of those humps. So watch him as he goes here in a second, you'll see him pull in the other way as well. If you'll notice down at the very edges here, this is going to be smooth and tapered so that you can't tell that it was actually there. But this whole area right in front of me here is where we had the hump. You could see when we're first putting it down, when we first started cleaning, it was all of this area. So he still has quite a bit over here that he has to clean up and smooth down. They're bringing in the long screws now to go ahead and scrape everything off and make it look nice and level before they start the floor. And that 
whole hump looks very good. I just... Still a little bit of light through there, so he's trying to clean that up a little bit. And this is what I was talking about using the back of the finishing trowel to scrape, take off high spots. So basically what he's saying is if it's five eighths of a gap, it's way too big and it's going to create a problem. But if you can get it down to with like an eighth of an inch, yeah, or sixteenth or less, yeah. Okay. So he's saying if it's a sixteenth or less, you're good to go. If you are anything bigger than that, you'd add a little leveling to try to get that a little smaller. Yeah, very cool tool, new toy. While you're hooking up, I'm gonna take a closer look. Yeah, very nice. So it can go up underneath the edge of the stairs. Very, very nice tool. I'm trying to see who actually makes this tool. There you go, right there, guys. Very cool. And to get also my floor guy was very smart, did not plug it in while I was playing with it until I got done. So safety first.
these machines is the same we use when I put the copper level. It's the same blade. Normally we use for the dark screen, but it's different blade. This blade is special for rock, oh. concrete, and this we use for kind of right here. We can slide the drawer under like this would be pretty good. Very it's cool. Like blades for wood and concrete. Very good. So you, what you're saying basically is you use that same tool, just a different blade when you're going yeah, around I stairs and the, the, the wood. Oh, okay, gotcha. Very nice. leveling system is put down and obviously you can see I already have the floor down which is a whole nother video I hope you guys check it out but you do not have to always use a self-leveling system to accomplish what we did here today now you can use a self-leveling system you're gonna pour it out and hopefully it's gonna cover the areas and level itself out we wanted a little bit more control because we had a lot of humps and bumps through here and we had to do some grinding and this system was actually a little cheaper than trying to do a self-leveling system. And we did not have to have the special spiked shoes and things that you're gonna need if you're doing a self-leveling system. And generally when you do self-leveling, you're gonna pour it over a much larger area. You're gonna spend a lot more money. So this is a great way to actually get your floor level. And this is the way that most of the pros do when they go in and they're putting a floor down. They're not going to self-level your entire floor. They're going to pick the spots that they find that are bad 
and they're going to repair those really quickly. So be sure that you watch for the actual floor install from Leo. And if you are in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you are needing a good floor installer, be sure that you DM me and I'll get Leo over there and we'll get your floor taken care of for you if you're not wanting to do it yourself. Also, be sure you watch for our bathroom series. We are still in the process of working on that. We've got some cool videos coming. We're going to be installing a very high-end Toto toilet in that unit. We did a accent wall made from Riptide. If you're not familiar with Riptide, it's a tile that looks like ripples. That's why it gets the name Riptide and they join together and continue those ripples. So be sure you watch for that video. We tiled the floor in there with a wood grain type tile, which was really cool. And the most awesome, I believe, in that bathroom is going to be the River Rock floor in the shower, the shower pan floor. Be sure you look for that one. And all that being said, we've got another video we're fixing to film right now that is directly behind the camera, and it is going to be an accent wall that is going to be Western Knotty Pine Tongue and Groove. It will be very cool and it's going to take the whole entire wall behind the camera area. So be sure you look for that video as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the comments and I hope to see you guys on the next video.